how do you speed up your delayed immigration case through a mandamus lawsuit? I'm Eric Widman, I'm an immigration lawyer, and there is a law called the APA, the Administrative Procedures Act, that requires federal agencies to process cases in a reasonable time period. There's a reasonableness standard out there that many of you have directly experienced the government does not abide by. They are not processing your case in a reasonable period of time. So what is the, the remedy? There is a remedy in federal court when you combine the reasonableness standard of the APA with a writ of mandamus. And that's a Latin phrase for mandating the government to take action on your case, to mandate a adjudication of your case is what it calls for. And that's what many immigrants need. Many petitioners and applicants have been waiting a very long time, an unreasonable period of time, to get their case heard. So a writ of mandamus through the APA, it applies to quite a few different types of cases. If your naturalization case is delayed, you went to your interview and they still haven't given you a decision or they haven't set up an interview. Or if you've applied for a green card and you went to an interview perhaps and there still has not been a decision, you could proceed with a writ of mandamus lawsuit. It also works with a filing for a delayed Department of State action. So the National Visa Center or US embassies are not setting up an interview, for example, you can seek in federal court to compel the Department of State or USCIS to take action by filing this lawsuit. So it can be a powerful way to finally move from begging and pleading and following up with USCIS or the National Visa Center with the ombudsman using an e-request tool or waiting on hold with the 1-800 number for a really long time. All those steps are quite frustrating. Even following up with the senator's office can have mixed results. The writ of mandamus is not a guarantee that you're gonna get an approval, but if done correctly and you have a unreasonable delay, you can rightly have a judge compel action on your behalf and have them adjudicate the case. So if you have a strong case and you have a genuine marriage and you want USCIS to finally take action or the State Department or the embassy to move forward with their adjudication, this is a great option for you. The steps to do this, to file a suit, include getting all the necessary supporting documents put together into a complaint, a good law firm, Quite a few law firms do these, including ours. But you have to make sure first that there has been an unreasonable delay. So that's a threshold issue. And recently under COVID, for example, judges have been more sympathetic that the State Department can't process cases as quickly as they used to because of distancing restrictions. So under COVID, for example, a unreasonable delay maybe beyond a year and a half, when in the past, it might have just been a one-year delay. But we run across poor couples and applicants who have been struggling for multiple years to get the U.S. government to finally take action on their case. So in those instances where you have multiple year delays, that is quite often a clear indicator that it's been unreasonable. In general, after you file the suit, the government has 60 days to reply back. And quite often, the State Department, the government's attorney, USCIS, will want to resolve the lawsuit by mooting it out, by making it moot, by saying, if the lawsuit goes away, we're going to move forward with adjudicating your visa processing your naturalization. And for many applicants, that's a great option. For our law firm, that is a desired result. We want action on a case that has been unreasonably delayed. So in that instance, everybody wins and there is some justice that is possible 
in a really difficult, oftentimes unjust system. Let us know if you have any questions and we look forward to hearing from you.